Hello, welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista. Welcome back if you're returning. Welcome if you're new, glad to have you. I don't have my sidekick with me. It makes me sad. Uh, hopefully hopefully we'll, we'll get, our, get our act together again after my life calms down. So uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a haul here. I ended up splitting this up into two different videos. The first one we did was on the Harry Styles and Sally Hansons. And this one is going to be some Dollar Tree finds that I picked up that are some OPIs, tiny little OPIs. And then what else do I have? Oh, oh, and then I also threw in here uh, a Holo Taco that, did you know that Holo Taco is sold at Ulta now? I didn't know that Holo Taco was at Ulta. Um, they're ridiculously expensive, $14. So I don't know why I did that, but there was one that I just, my heart was being called so i had to get it so we were going to take a look at that one and i think there's oh, one other couple other sally hansen a couple, couple things that we're going to look at so let's get the camera turned around and we'll take a look okay we're going to start off with the ones that i got at the dollar tree um, i did find some more sally hansen's there so this one is called pinky please Oh, where is Jacqueline? She would just love this. It's not even a bright pink. It's like that hate, that's that hateful pink that she can't stand, that blushy pink. So it's a blushy pink with just a really pretty little, it looks like a, like a micro iridescent glitter that's in there. Very, very pretty. So we're just gonna keep going from my last video here and I'm gonna add these Sally Hansons to it. So I'm not shocked that it's sheer, but you know. We'll see if it how it builds up. It's got a pretty little, I like the, the glitters that are in it. Because I have some other blushy type pinks with shimmer glitters in it, but not with the same color that it shimmers to or glitters to, I guess you could say. It's pretty and delicate. Okay, and then the other Sally Hansen that I found there was this one with another kind of shimmery cream. This is called Sunshine Shimmers. I'm guessing these are probably all from the same. Oh yeah, these are from the Pride line. So they're both from the Pride line. That's what I've been finding in their, in the Dollar Tree are these ones that were like limited editions and then um, they end up at the Dollar Tree. So this one has a, a same kind of formula but a little bit different micro glitter that's in there. They're calling it a shimmer, I guess. This one is a little bit more opaque. Pretty, I love a good yellow. It's kind of like a muted, I mean, it's like a muted, I wouldn't say mustard yellow because it's brighter than that, but it's definitely not like a bright, bright yellow either. I like it, it's really pretty. I think it'd be really pretty for spring. All right, and then this one was amazing. I don't know, New Color keeps coming out with these really pretty polishes. Look at that. This is like a gray, like whited out gray maybe um, with that beautiful shimmer. Look at that, like Aurora shimmer that's in there. Let's see how good it is on the nail. Oh, and it doesn't have a name, of course. It's just a number, it's 918. Let's see how it does. It almost has like a, aqua kind of gray. There's like a tiny bit of that greenish blue undertone to it, at least in person. On camera, it's looking more gray, I think. But yeah, that actually had really good coverage. What a pretty shimmer. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. Candy Moyo. Candy Moyo, did I say new color? They used to be new color, but now they're Candy Moyo. They kind of rebranded, I guess. They look exactly the same, but they rebranded. All right, and then they had these tiny little OPIs that came in like, two packs so like you would get two of two of these little ones in one pack and so they don't have names so i have no idea what they are i i suspect that this one might be something i already have so um i think it's that mexico city movement but i'm not sure but here's the thing when i'm traveling this might not be a bad thing to throw in there to, I, I do love Mexico City movement, but you know, it's always nice to have smaller polishes to travel with. So that, yeah, that did really well. It's really pretty. I'd have to add, I don't have my, all my polishes with me here, so I can't compare it. 
And I believe that one was in the same box as this red. This one's a bright red. Again, I, there's no names, so I have no idea what the name of it is. Ooh, that one's very jelly. Very squishy, squishy jelly. And I don't know how that's gonna look on me because usually these like really bright reds don't look great on me. So, but let's let's hold off until I do my second coat. Okay, and then these were kind of similar along the same lines, a little bit deeper kind of aqua color. Let's see. You guys can make some guesses on what you think this one is. Or the red one, I have no idea. I don't have, I don't think I have this one in a full size version though. Wow, it makes it makes this one look really white <laughs> and gray next to it, huh? Pretty though. Okay, and then this one came in the same packet as this little red one. And it's a really dark red. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Komaseyama a little bit, but again, I don't have the polish here for me to compare it, but this looks um, kind of whiny, berry-toned red. This is the kind of red I like. That usually looks better on me than like that. See how, yeah, we'll look at it in second coats, but usually those brighter ones don't look that great on me, so. All right, and then I could save the best for last, so I, and I did go to Ulta because I had to get hair product, and they did have Holo Taco. This was the only one of this color that they had there. So it does have, I don't know what happened, it got some red on it. So it's this one and like, I need another dark fall polish. Like I need a hole in the head, um, but this is really pretty. And I did try and compare it to like all the ones that I have in my collection that are similar and I don't have anything that's exactly like it. This is called Waste of Space. Super pretty. Um, it looks like it's got some like, you can see tiny flakies, but then also has the colored hollow that's in there. I don't know the exact description. I know I paid way too much for this, but I don't know why I just wanted it. Okay, so it's definitely like a dark gray, black jelly base. Um, does it have flakies? It might not. I think it might just all be hollow that's in there. No. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Does anybody know out there? I'd have to go look up the description, so. It's beautiful. Very, very pretty. Oh, I'm guessing it's a black base. So I wanted to show you this because the closest I do have in my, in my collection to it is something like that from ILMP, which this is Re Revival. Um, I also have candlelight too that's in the that's in the same collection that's a little bit more red which might be close to but this one has way more hollow in it so yeah so definitely not not a dupe similar thought but not a dupe okay let's pause and I'll do the second coats and then come back okay so let's take a look so I did do three coats on these first three so the Sally Hansen pinky please um, is this blushy with that sparkle in there. And it's still maybe a tiny bit patchy. Not horrible though. I think it looks pretty. I like that it's bright enough that I, I think it pops on me. I've been kind of into these neutrally colors. And then the yellow one is Sunshine Shimmers. And this nail wheel kind of makes it look like it's patchy on the sides there, but I don't think it's really that, it's gonna be that patchy. So it's a pretty, it looks a lot brighter now on the, to second and third coat, not as mustardy. It looks a lot brighter. And then this Candy Moyo 918, I'm really impressed with that. That is beautiful. I used to not be so much a shimmer girl, but now I really like shimmers. Oh, I'm getting it all over me too. All right, and then we got the OPIs, which like I said, I'm not sure what they are. Ooh, this bright red. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> oh, that's all right. And then the little bit deeper aqua blue here and the wineish wine colored one. I actually think that I'm thinking of Komaseyama, but I think Komaseyama is actually more brick red, whereas this one is more like blood, you know, vampire -y kind of red, I think. 
berry toned wine tone. And then the hollow taco, which is called Waste of Space. Look at that. That's really pretty. I really like that. So pretty. Okay, well, those were the ones that I got at, well, Dollar Tree and Ulta, I guess you could say. So super fun polishes. Do you have any of these? Have you been seeing any of these polishes at your Dollar Tree? Have you seen Hollow Taco at Ulta? I was, am I just out of the loop and didn't know that that was occurring? I would love to know. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.